Salama. Hello. My name is Sue and I'm Kut. We live on the island of Madagascar. The population of Madagascar is around 25 million 500,000 people, half of whom are children like us. I like my country because I love animals. And here there are a lot of lemurs, chameleons, turtles, and crocodiles. Did you know Madagascar is one of the most biodiverse countries in the world? But Madagascar is also one of the poorest countries in the world, with 75% of the population surviving on less than two dollars a day. Children in Madagascar face many challenges, which affect their health, education, well-being, and development, which is keeping them from reaching their full potential. Grandpa. Hello, children. Could you explain to us what can be done so children in Madagascar can better enjoy their rights? The government of Madagascar acts every day to try to develop the country, and UNICEF, in collaboration with other partners and donors, supports them to improve the lives of children. In fact, UNICEF is working throughout the country. To strengthen access to services. Yes, Dad told me that between 2015 and 2019, a lot has been done. Yes, pay attention because a lot of numbers are coming. 167,000 children who left school were able to take makeup courses before returning to the classroom. 6,400 preschools, 9,500 primary schools, and 725 colleges benefited from new teaching materials, and 12,000 teachers received training in the field of child protection. The national strategy against child marriage has been developed and implemented. This helped strengthen the protection of child rights. More than 47,000 child victims of violence and exploitation have benefited from psychosocial, medical, and judicial care. Oh, we're going to cool off a bit. More than 700,000 people have benefited from access to drinking water. Thanks to UNICEF, and in the south, a 180-kilometer pipeline powered by solar energy has been put into service, giving more than 35,000 people access to safe water in a region that has been facing drought for years. More than 2.9 million people, including 1.4 million children living in rural areas, have stopped practicing open defecation. Let's go to the health center. Improvements in the coverage and quality of health services made it possible to provide support to 120,000 pregnant women per year, and to monitor the health of 33,500 adolescents. Each year, 800,000 children under the age of one are vaccinated against the main childhood disease, and thanks to 15 vaccination campaigns. Madagascar is currently declared polio-free. And what about nutrition, Grandpa? Nutrition policies and strategies have been updated to meet the needs of the Malagasy population. The universal salt iodization program has been strengthened, and four million children under the age of five have received a dose of vitamin A and have been dewormed every six months. Oh, our zebra is also hungry. But you know, children, to make this happen, UNICEF has produced evidence and data on the situation of children, like the multiple indicator cluster surveys (MICS). A national social protection framework has also been developed by the government with the support of UNICEF. Do you know, Kut? That there are 510 adolescents and young people who are very active through the general reporters' clubs. They are educating other young people to promote healthy family practices. Mom told me UNICEF also responds to emergencies like drought, cyclones, and epidemics. Yes, Kutu. All these programs are accompanied by communication and advocacy to inform the public. At the community, 
national and international levels. This is done to promote behavior change and the rights of the child through the media, the private sector, celebrities and opinion leaders. Grandpa, let's join UNICEF. Yes, children. Together we can work towards a day when all children can enjoy their rights and reach their full potential.